Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel for another video on War Thunder. In this one we're looking at the T-055, the first Russian flamethrower tank in the game. Essentially it is a T-55 with a flamethrower instead of a coxal machine gun. It also gets the typical 12.7 DSHK or the dish kit on top so you still do get your machine gun for anti-aircraft purposes. So this tank is being long awaited for truthfully speaking. I am glad to see more unique variants of tanks like this in the game. However, I don't agree with it being premium. I think it should be in the tech tree, personally speaking. However, you know how guys you are with mo like with monetization. Currently, it is sitting at battle rating 8.0. However, I think it should be 8.3, personally, with the rest of the T-55 series. So, it's roughly around 12 and a half seconds on its turret rotation speed. Minus 5, the plus 18, the vertical guidance. The reload rate is... 8.8 .8 on my tank however on ace crew it does go as low as 7.5 seconds so it is a pretty decent reload rate for a soviet tank the hull armor is pretty standard and the same with the turret on t55s crew and mass it's pretty much a t55 really across the board in that aspect so modification wise it does come with basic night vision 3bm8 and 3bk5 as your upgraded ammo choices personally speaking i prefer the apds but that's because i'm a british man and i'm used to using it however for the sake of overpressure and other mechanics people do prefer heat fs on russian vehicles so i'll leave that to use personally and what you prefer so let's give this a wee quick test drive so i will warn you everyone please do not laugh at my accuracy and how horrible a shot i am on my laptop as my desktop is absolutely fried at the minute because of my neighbor setting the house on fire so let's give this a wee test drive and see how it, how it goes Ooh, the ammo detonation effects are really nice. Go through here, nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah, no, I do like this. Driver engine. Yeah, pretty standard APDS. Come on, give me the ammo debt. Oh, there you go. The ERA at my APDS. In regards to mobility, seems pretty standard. T55 mobility, yeah, roughly. Getting about 40 kilometers an hour forward, 41, 42. Yeah, this thing can move. There we are, we're breaching 50 at gear 5. Seems to be maxing out at about 50 kilometers an hour. Not overly bad for a T-55. Reverse seems to be maxing out at about 7 or 8. So, yeah, pretty typical of a Soviet tank. So, for its first stage ammo, you will only get 6 shots at the 7.5 seconds. However, truthfully speaking, it's War Thunder, you're never carrying full rack anyway, so it's not that bad. And I did forget to show off one feature there, the flamethrower. That is my own fault. The, well, of course I should have shown off the flamethrower, but yeah. But yeah, burn baby, burn! Truthfully speaking, it's not going to be much use against like any hard hard top vehicles it's going to be useful against light tanks with open tops and all that type of stuff and it's more of a gimmick than anything else like blinding the vehicle or killing a vehicle with an open top so yeah it's going to be more of a gimmick but it's going to be good fun and it's something i love i guess why i love the churchill, uh, churchill crocodile in game hopefully though um, with us seeing more and more of these and and there goes my mars Hopefully seeing more and more intricate vehicles like this in the game. Hopefully we'll see things like the Churchill AVRE coming in with its Praetor Mortar. Like who doesn't want the fire fucking dustbin shell at someone? It'll, it'll be a fucking brilliant gag to do. Anyways, with that there everyone. I'd like to thank everyone again for watching. 
So please like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content. Hopefully I'll get to see you all in game more often and hopefully get to see you back live on Twitch again. Once I manage to get something sorted around the desktop as... Can't believe you set my heart on fire. I still can't believe that to this day. And that's, well, it's only been a week and I still can't get, believe it. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get back streaming soon. Anyways, with everyone, thanks again for watching. And I shall hopefully see you in game.